Yo, yo, yo! Today's video is going to be about how to retrieve a Whopper Plopper. I know that sounds basic, but I'm still seeing the comments all over Facebook, uh, tack the reviews on the Whopper Plopper on tackle sites, as well on comments on YouTube that people have never even gotten a bite, never caught in a fish, they've had the lure for years, etc. No idea how that's possible. Get you some 30 pound braid, a decent fast reel, and get out there and start throwing this thing. There's no wrong way to throw it. Except for maybe if you have the wrong gear. and I, I, There's probably a few ways, but not many. The only thing I can think of is maybe people are throwing it with a leader. A, a big long leader and it's sinking like the 90 or something. The leader's just too heavy and it's not plopping right. I don't know how it's possible to not catch fish on this lure. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and dig into some of the ways that I retrieve it. Uh, there's a million ways to do it. No wrong way to do it. But here you go. We'll go ahead and start out with the one. Uh, this one, the first one we'll call it insta catch. That's where you literally do nothing. You throw the whopper plopper out there, and as soon as it hits the water, something bites it. Right in the mouth. Jeez, talk about precision cast. <laughs> I think it was landed right in the mouth. And on the next one, we're going to do a steady retrieve. That's just where you cast it and keep a steady pace and retrieve that puppy back to the boat or to the bank that you're fishing on. Good small mouth. Hell of a good small mouth. James, I think that's over 30. Man, I missed a blow up. Darn. I'll call this one popping it. Now there you can you can rip up I call it ripping. I don't know what the exact term is, it maybe it is rip. But it, you just want to be a gentle, just a pop, a small pop. You don't want it going I mean, you do. We'll get to that clip. We'll probably get to that clip next. But this one coming up right now is just going to be the pop. You're just going to pop it gently all the way in. Pop, reel in the slack. Pop, reel in the slack. Stay on here, baby. This is a big one. Hey, boy. I'm gonna need the net on this one. No, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. next one we're gonna rip so we're gonna when you when you rip it you'll know it it's not gonna be that basic quick plop it's gonna so you're gonna do that rip pause rip 
pause, rip, pause, all the way to the boat. Another 20, dude. Mm. Next one we're going to go ahead and do is the rip and pause. It's very similar to the previous one. I like to do this one when I'm throwing over a log or a stump or if I think something's hunkered down under some type of structure, I'll try and rip it a couple times. Maybe even three, maybe four, no more than six. So I'm going to rip it. If I don't suck anything out from that structure right away, if something doesn't come up and nail it, I'm just going to do a steady retrieve. So we'll call this one a uh, rip pause, rip pause till about halfway and then steady retrieve the rest of the way in.
boats. Fishing gods were with me. What a fucking haul, dude. Haul. Good strike, good strike. First big one of the day. Okay, and then the next one we're gonna go ahead and do the opposite. We're gonna go ahead and do a steady retrieve from the moment it hits the water. And then when we get about halfway through, we'll do a little rip pause, rip pause, rip pause action. See if we can't get anything that way. pounder I'll take it all day all day baby Be free. okay and on this one we're gonna talk about a missed strike uh, there's quite a few things you could do I only have a couple missed strike clips so I'll go with what I did and that's just keeping a steady retrieve you can I've caught a lot of fish too on a pause just completely letting it still after the miss they'll come back and get it but I don't have any video clips of that so I'll go ahead and show you this one where you just keep retrieving it after they miss it. Get off that top. Ooh, that's a big boy. Damn, that's a hog. That is 
a big boy. There's a big boy. Stay on, baby. Stay on, baby. Stay on, baby. Let me get the net. Come on, baby. Yes. Oh my God, that's a huge smallmouth. Holy shit. Almost didn't cast there. And those are some of the many different ways to retrieve a whopper plopper. There's a million ways to do it. There's really no wrong way to do it. You just got to get out there and throw it. I hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed some of those blow ups. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. Click the like button if you liked it. If you didn't like it, can you give me a thumbs down. Leave something in the comments so I know what you didn't like. I got more videos coming and we'll talk to you guys soon.